leadership because Khrushchev decides when he hears the, the Kennedy make his speech and Kennedy says we're going to uh, put a, a quarantine, really a blockade, that moment, that, that is within moments, I mean, that night, uh, Khrushchev decides to try to reduce the threat of war. He starts turning around ships, or holding them actually, away from Cuba. And um, he, he, so from the very beginning, Khrushchev is thinking, I don't want war. And then within a couple of days, a couple of days, he's already telling the leadership, the Soviet leadership, you know, if we could get Kennedy to promise not to invade Cuba, I think that would be reason enough for us to remove the missiles. So on the Soviet side, they were not willing to risk war. In fact, I don't believe they ever assumed they were risking war by putting missiles in Cuba. On the American side, the very fact that Kennedy did not act on his initial passion to use military force to wipe the slate clean, if you will, to get rid of the missiles they had seen, the fact that he uh, controlled that passion, which is understandable given the fact he'd been lied to by the Soviets, that was leadership too.